Hey, what is up? Today I'm taking a look at the full line of Magic Henshin. As usual, this video right here would not have been possible without those absolutely awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you do want some of these of your own, I'll throw that link down there in the description. Now, here we go. So we're going to be taking them in order. We've got one, two, three and four came as a set and G1. All of these do combine. I'll throw that up right now so you can see what we'll get out of them all once they're all stuck together later on in the review. But let's just go through them all one by one. So number one we have here is Scarlet Sonic. Each of these is a box inside of the box and the box contained inside is in one main color. In this situation it is in red and we've got a mirror finish profile graphic image of Scarlet Sonic. This looks really cool. Around back it shows us everything we get inside, which is Scarlet Sonic, what it can transform into, and all of the accessories. Busting that open even more, and here is absolutely everything that we get inside. So that of course is Scarlet Sonic herself, two alternate face plates, four alternate hands, two little beam saber looking weapons. We've got one of the cutest accessories I've ever seen, which is a little petrol pump. A whole ton of effect parts, a lot of these we'll be using later on in the review. And we've got some stickers, or should I say water slides in here as well, for using with that blank faceplate. Now let's check it out. So anyway, jumping into the aesthetics, and there's the full 360 spin of Scarlet Sonic. And this looks incredible. I love the design, absolutely adore it. It gives me a kind of Mega Man, or maybe even Samurai Pizza Cats kind of vibe. It's a cute little character massive head and with some cool design elements. As you can tell from the wheels around back, this can transform. The quality on this for something so small is impressive. Sure, we do have some noticeable seam lines here and there, but not so bad. The paint applications are perfect and this is just downright cute. This is awesome. So when it comes to the articulation on the Scarlet Sonic right here, I was pleasantly surprised. Out of the box, I didn't know what you'd get with something so tiny. And honestly, the joints on this is great. It feels nice and solid, and you get plenty at the neck, shoulders, elbows, the hips, and the knees. The only thing that seems to be a little bit on the limited side is the ab zone. But besides that, pretty damn awesome, and it looks great to boot. Just in case you are curious about the size of this thing, it is very, very, very small. There it is side by side with a high-grade Gundam. There it is beside a Figma. And finally, there it is up on the shelf. So something this small is not going to have a whole load of shelf presence, really. But we'll see once we get the whole crew involved. So jumping right on back to the accessories, and there is the overview once again. First off, in here we've got different face plates. That's the one we've seen so far, this plain face. And as for the alternates, we've got a completely blank face as well as one with a little grin. Swapping out the faces is super simple, it's the usual figure style way, that is you pull off the front of the armored forehead, pop off the face you want to remove, and then stick on the one that you want, and back on with that forehead armor. Simple as that. As for that blank face I just mentioned, we do have two sets of water slides for using on the eyes. That is a standard set of red, and we also have a blue and red combo. Now, for some reason or another, the little paper insert in the bag was stuck to the blue and red eyes, and I can't seem to really get it off. Maybe if you dampen that, it'll come off, but as for right now, it's a little bit stuck. Next up then in here, we've got a pair of beam swords, transparent, and they look great. Attaching these can be a little bit on the difficult side. When you're popping the hands on and off, you will have to hold the exhaust parts that are on the sleeves in order to stop the ball joint from moving in as you push. And on top of that, the hands do hold quite tight, so the first time you're attaching these beam swords in, make sure to be careful. But besides that, these look great, attach great, hold on great, and I guess that means they're great. So the next accessory we have in here is pretty interesting, and that is a tiny little petrol pump. In order to uh, attach this right here, you just use the bigger gripping hand. We've got a pair of these, but I'm just going to use the right hand, attach it in like so, and that is what it looks like attached. 
So next up we have the transformation to the motorcycle. So this is simple enough, I just followed the instructions, but there was one element that did get me a little bit confused. And that is pay attention to the waist area while doing this, because you have to actually pull a joint out, then move it backwards to line her up correctly. Everything clips together and in the end this is what we get right here it has a pair of handles for using with another magic henshin figure so i guess we'll come back to that a little bit later on to the next one so because of the theming in here and the color and all that i'm gonna move from number one which was scarlet sonic to g1 which as the name suggests scarlet dragon this is going to be very similar and in a matching color to scarlet sonic once again, I love these boxes. They're very tasteful. One color, silver reflective graphic illustration on the front, and round back then we have some ideas of what we'll be getting in here. It's a dragon that transforms into a tank. Now let's get it out. So I'm busting the box open. This is absolutely everything we get inside, which is the Scarlet Dragon, which is in pieces at the moment, as well as a pair of fists and what look like some fancy sunglasses. Also not mentioned in the manual, but also in the box, is this little baggie of star-like almost kill a kill effect parts but we'll take a look at those a little later on i think they're for the combination so this dragon does need a little bit of assembly out of box that is attached the barrel into the what i can only describe as the head unit and attach that then into the main body and we get this tiny awesome little tank so anyway there it is put together as the tank and this is ridiculously cute this looks like something out of a little side scroller like metal slug or something like that just with extra added cuteness the detailing on this is fantastic i mean there is nothing gone wrong here at all the colors look great the way that yellow almost like hazard colors inside there just looks great we've got a barrel up top lots of cute little detailing like that x this is really awesome i love this just like the last one we looked at, this does have a transformation as well. It transforms from that tank mode to a sort of bipedal little dragon mode. This is simple enough to do. Just make sure to follow those instructions and you'll have no problem whatsoever. And there it is transformed. Now this I find a little hard to kind of digest as a character in itself. You can kind of feel that this is just kind of an accessory pack with a little bit of a dragon-ish look. For example, if we jump into the articulation, there really isn't a whole lot going on here. You can rotate the legs, move them outwards a little bit, bend some of the joints, but a lot of it just feels like transforming parts, that you're kind of getting something that resembles some dragon-ish articulation, but you can't move the head side to side, it can only pivot up and down ever so slightly, so it is quite restricted in the articulation here, I think is for what we're gonna see a little bit later on. So moving on to the next one. So moving on to the second magic engine, and this is Thunderlight. Once again, yellow box, silver, classy imagery on the front right there. Round back, we can see what we're going to be getting inside. And when we do finally get this cracked open, here's absolutely everything that comes inside. So that is Thunderlight herself. Two alternate faces, one again is blank. We've got two alternate hands, two crackling, punching effect parts. And once again, a baggie of stuff that isn't mentioned in the instructions, which is some more effect parts and what looks to be a steering wheel. So I'm not sure what to do about these. Well, maybe they're for the combination at the end. So I'm going to put them to the side and we'll get back to them later. So now jumping into the full 360 spin. And this is definitely another cute little figure right here. Looking a little bit more stocky and powerful than the Scarlet Sonic we would have seen earlier on. Once again, the color applications, everything is pretty much perfect. I cannot see anything gone wrong on this whatsoever moving in a little bit closer into the face now and we can see that once again the eyes on this are incredibly detailed and the face we have right here is a little more determined and angry looking than what we would have seen with scarlet sonic just like before we have some decent articulation here some interesting aspects to it too for example the knee bend is on the axis of the wheels that you're seeing there we also have ankle articulation downwards, but there is no in and out, and we've got full everything pretty much at the arms. Once again, no ab crunch, but you can rotate at the waist. So yeah, even though it is small and relatively simple, you can get some decent poses out of it. Once again, shooting back to the beginning of the video, and there is everything that comes in the box. As for the hands, you have to swap them straight away to these box and glove style ones. While it's already in a punching pose like this, I might as well throw on the effect parts. These are some crackling, lightning-like energy that just attach onto the front of the glove style hands like so to give some cool punching effects. Just like before, we've got a bunch of choices when it comes to faces. That is the standard determined looking face. We've got a blank face again in here, as well as some of these water slide decals. Now these actually came out of the box 
completely fine, nothing stuck to them. And what we have is sets of open eyes or two sets of winking eyes. The last face we have then in here is this one right here, which looks like a bit of a shouting, determined face with some upper teeth. So last up, Thunderlight does have a transformation just like we saw before. This I found a little bit easier than what we saw with Scarlet Sonic. Sometimes the instructions can be a little bit on the confusing side, but once you get used to it, it'll definitely be really easy to do over and over again. Halfway, or should I say nine-tenths of the way through the actual transformation, we end up with this. Some real Thomas the Tank Engine nightmare fuel right here. But yeah, close up the front segment and there you go, some kind of little three-wheeled vehicle of some description for tearing up your desk, doing donuts, etc. There it is side by side with the motorbike that was Scarlet Sonic. On to the next one. So now moving on to the final pair of Magic Henshin figures and these are sold as a set so they come together. That of course is the Gemini Wings. I don't know why I said of course, you probably don't know that. But yeah, and cracking both of these boxes open, we can see that pretty much what we get in here is identical for the most part. These are pretty much the same figure, color swapped with a little bit of a difference. So there is everything that comes in the box once it is all opened up. And as far as I can see, there isn't an individual name for each of these characters. It just seems to be Gemini Wings for both of them. Once again, pretty much exactly the same in both of the boxes. The only difference really between the two figures here besides the colors is one looks a little bit on the disgruntled side and the other one looks quite happy. The same goes for the alternate face plates in here, that is the blue eyed one looking a little angry and the pink eyed one is looking quite happy. Besides that then we've got an M and a H transparent large hearts, these are pretty cool. Some kind of adapters and we've alternate hands for both that are absolutely identical. Once again we do have another big bag of stuff that is not mentioned in the actual instructions so I'm assuming once again this is for the transformation later on which we have a whole different set of instructions for. But let's check these out first. So there we go once again there's the full 360 spin so you can see what they look like and these look phenomenal. The Gemini wings right here they are a little bit back heavy and that's why one of them's kneeling down and one's on a stand because I cannot balance them on those tiny tiny little feet. Now these are ridiculously unique looking, they really stand out, the colour scheme is very impactful and even compared to the ones that we've seen so far, these really do look cool. There's a lot going on, a lot of panels, a lot of armour parts, while at the same time they are very delicate looking. But anyway, let's check out the accessories. As for the faces, on the blue one we've got that one we saw already which looks like a mildly upset face. We've got a blank in here again, as well as a bunch of water slide decals, all blue eyes. Last up then we've got a very, very disgruntled looking face. As for the pink one, it's pretty similar but you cannot swap the faces. The top of the head is a little bit different in shape to facilitate the different shaped eyes. And the faces we have is this happy looking face. Once again, a blank, we do have water slides in pink. And lastly then, this super, super, mega happy looking face. As for the included hands in here, we've got a pair of widespread open hands for both and a pair of hands making the shape of a love heart also for both. Last up then in here, well not last up, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff as well, but next up here, we've got this pair of translucent hearts. That is a H and an M, which I assume is for Magic Henshin. These both have little 3mm holes in the back, so you can attach them onto any standard action base, just like this here. So the last thing the Gemini Wings in here can do is transform, and this is the toughest transformation yet. There is a lot of moving parts in these particular figures. Actually, speaking of moving parts, I totally bypassed the articulation. The articulation is absolutely phenomenal. These ones are the best of the bunch. But either way, what we get in the end here is some kind of like double prawn looking what I can only assume is meant to be the Gemini wings or some kind of flight form. But yeah, now that we've seen every single one of them, it's time to check out that full combination. So one thing I was really wondering about this set of figures is how they would actually combine and how good would it be afterwards and I have to say, this is more impressive than I was expecting. Everything locks together very nicely. Everything is thought out so well and just everything works I guess. The overall design of what we get in the end is really cool and uh, if there isn't some inspiration from Trigger here, I will eat my hat. 
So anyway, there we go. There's that full 360 degree spin of what it looks like combined together. Now, putting this together isn't actually all that difficult and Honestly, it does clip together and hold together a lot better than I thought it would. It's very intelligently designed. For the most part, everything clips in super, super secure and it all just works out really nicely. I will mention, however, there are some accessories inside this box that there is no instructions for. So I had to actually jump on over to Big Firebird's Twitter to actually see what to do with them. Now, and I, I'm still super confused. So what I did figure out is the shield thing that I have in its left hand there is some kind of shield, but that is all I know about it. We have a bunch of other stuff we're about to check out soon that also it doesn't say anything about in the instructions and I had to go online to see maybe what to do with them. But besides that, let's just jump into the articulation first. So I will mention the articulation in this combined mode is quite limited. We've a lot going on up at the arms, which is very, very nice. You can pose all those weapons whatever way you want. The ab crunch is very, very locked because this is where it is combined. So it doesn't really move at all besides a little bit of pivot. Down at the legs, the knees are where the knees were on the thunder light. So that does mean they're very, very high up. There is no actual articulation where you'd expect the knees to be. It is up more so at the thighs. So besides that, it is very limited. You'll get one or two poses out of this, but not a whole lot more. But it does look absolutely fantastic when it is in a pose. So next up, we've got a whole ton of effect parts in here. First off, we've got some flames for up on the thrusters, which also come with some big, almost wing-like effect parts. We've got loads of these trigger-looking shiny crosses, which can attach all over the place. And if that wasn't triggery enough already, we've got some real Gurren Lagann-style glasses, which attach onto the face like so. So there's the full spin of what it looks like with all of those effect parts attached. And this looks crazy fun. This is awesome. But I will mention before I finish up this review, there was one niggling little aspect which was driving me mad. And that is, I noticed there was hands in the wheels of the Scarlet Sonic. So these have to be used for something, right? I was like, can you use it in a kind of forearmed, almost Goro style kind of way? And that didn't really work out. So I was like, well, the only thing I could think of was to go to the Twitter again and have a look around. That is when I found this image. So this is a combination that does not use the Scarlet Dragon. Yet I don't see any variants of this using just the figures at all, like just the art or the standard combination I showed you before. I did also notice on the sides of the head of the Thunderlight that there are some pegs which would make it shoulders when it is combined. So I decided to try and attach it all together. Eventually, after a lot of grueling hard work and trying to figure it out, and it all being extremely janky in this kind of combination, I eventually came up with this ride here, which I assume is how it's meant to be attached together. Once again, this is really difficult to do. Everything around the head of the Thunder Light just kind of feels a little bit loose and weird. The pegs don't really attach as well as what we got with the Scarlet Dragon, so it kind of feels like the Scarlet Dragon may have been a concept to fix the transformation or combination that didn't really work. Because that is the only one that doesn't have a number, it's called G1 as opposed to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So yeah, you can pull off this combination, but it does not take much to make the Scarlet Sonic fall off the back there and the chest to open up and go a little bit funny, but you can do it if you want to. It is just strange that it wasn't mentioned in the instructions. Same with all of the effects. You kind of have to figure it out yourself. I still do not know what that shield is actually for. But anyway, that is it for the review. And I will mention, there's only one thing that bothered me a little bit about this figure, and that is the thighs separate a lot like this when you're trying to pose it. But besides that, this thing is absolutely and utterly awesome. It is fantastic. The little figures themselves are so detailed, so fun, and the way they can all combine together, even though there is so much going on, it works so well. It's not going to do a whole lot of over-the-top kind of poses or anything, but you'll get the basics out of it at least. Honestly, all I can say is if you do like small, cute style figures that kind of have a Mega Man or Samurai Pizza Cats kind of vibe. You also like things that can transform, combine together, and I'm st I am assume you can actually make your own combinations if you tried. But yeah, I'm starting to babble anyway. The, just to sum it up, this is absolutely awesome. There was a couple of issues I had here and there, but that's more so because when something is finicky, I'm not that great with it. 
But on the whole, this is solid, looks great, and is cool. The bottom line is, if you like cute figures which have an almost Mega Man and a little bit of a Trigger style vibe to them, then you will adore this. If you love combining things, transforming things, then that makes the deal even sweeter. As always, I got this through Hobby Link Japan. I will throw a link down there in the description. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more reviews, and I'll see you next time. As always, this video right here would not have been possible without each and every one of you guys who watches my videos, including those of you who help out on the channel memberships and over on Patreon, including Craig Jerry, Van Fon, Sean T, Mr. Winter, Lauren Seahack, Joseph Kuglock, Global Frequency Studios, Forseti, Caleb Engelhart, and Bakito Official.